Hey, it's Dina Colada, and I'm really excited that you're here because I am going to share with you a new image plus prompting generator tool that just came out from Google. It's called Google Whisk. You might have access to it, but I'm, I don't know if everyone has access. I think it's limited to only um, a certain amount of people or something like that. So I've typed in Google Whisk into search and it pops it right up here. So it's actually at Google Labs. So you can type in Google Labs, Whisk, and I'm very excited to play with this new tool. Like this, I just saw this 10 minutes ago and I'm ready to dig in. So I'm on the page here. You can add a subject plus a scene plus a style and then you can get your image. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up a little bit. So creating with whisk is simple. You bring in your visual elements for it to analyze. You drag and drop the image. You create a reference. You can explore. You can pick one more, one or more subjects, one scene, one style, and put it to work. So today in this video, I'm not going to go through all of this stuff here. Maybe I should. You can select one more, one or more subjects, one scene, one style. And then you can keep riffing. And then if you don't like what you get, you can have Gemini or you can have Google change the picture, which is really awesome. So if you see something that's green, you want it to be blue, or maybe you want the sun to be in a different place than it is, then you can just keep playing with the prompts to get the picture that you want. Okay. So you can also pick categories. It's, or it says, what do categories mean? I'm still learning this as we go. Okay, bear with me. That's what the image is about, is the subject. The scene is where the subjects are. The style, you might want, let's see, a material or technique used to represent it. I'm not going to go through all the tutorials. I'm just going to dig in. I don't think we really need directions for this. I think that Google has made it pretty simple. So in the upper right hand or upper left hand corner, we're going to go to whisk experiment. So it's giving us a few options here. This drop down, you can make a sticker, an enamel pen, or a plushie. So can you guess which one I'm going to go for before I type it in? I'm going to go for a plushie. So the style's already chosen. The subject, I know what I want to make a plushie out of already. I want it to be out of, oh, I have to find it. Let me type it in here again. Oh, where the heck did it go? I don't even know. Oh, I have it. Okay, it's in my downloads. So I'm going to pop up my downloads here. And I'm going to use Pickle Star. Now, if you don't know what Pickle Star is, one of my summertime mascots for my concession stand called Dina Coladas. And we do big events like Picklesburg in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And Pickle Star is the star of the show along with the lemonade and the slushies. Oh, cool. It's made a little pickle here. I'm going to go ahead and pick open in tool. So it's going to make a pickle slushy or a pickle plushy. All right, there it is. So it's a little different, right? The eyes have buttons. It has a lot of pickle bumps, which is cool. But the sunglasses aren't the right color. So I'm going to tell Whisk to make the sunglasses hot pink. And we're going to see how well it does in this regeneration. It's trying here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cute. Okay, we have a standing one and we also have a sitting down pickle slushy or a pickle. Oh my gosh. I have pickle slushies on my brain. We have pickle star here. They did a good job on the glasses. Look at that. Wow. I'm impressed. That looks really good. I like this one because it doesn't have a nose. Okay, I'm going to say you can refine a specific image. 
You can also click a heart, you can download it, or you can put it in the trash can. Let's see what, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, this says a chibi plushie. So I'm gonna go ahead and put pickle plushie cucumber with hot pink round sunglasses and hot pink shoes. I'm gonna say with white shoelaces and green arms. It has, I'm gonna say it has slightly bumpy skin and a smiling face with pink cheeks. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have it generate this new pickle plushie. I would love to sell this. I think people would really like it. Okay, I don't really like the nose because Pickle Star does not have a nose. Make it with no nose. I think this one nailed it pretty well. So that might be the winner right there. Oh, but I do the shoe strings better in these two. Okay, so I'm gonna say make it with no nose. I'm gonna go back to this one and have it reiterate just that one. So you can click refine. So then you don't mess with that big prompt. I'm gonna say keep it the same Same with white shoelaces and the pickle is standing up. All right, I didn't spell that, but we're gonna see how this looks. Right now it looks like the pickle sitting down, but man, that, that nailed it. Oh, look, the bumps are a little too symmetrical make the bumps more subtle and less you know what? I'm gonna say remove the bumps I don't think we need those all right and we're gonna see how this looks now look at that pickle star is pretty stinking adorable Oh yeah, nailed it. Oh, but what is this? What is that, a belly button? Okay, so I think we need to tell it remove all three dimensional bumps. Maybe that is a belly button. I didn't know pickles had belly buttons, but hey, we're gonna go with it. Okay, it's got two bumps there. I can't even say what part of this looks like. It's funny. But I do like the glasses better in that one. And the shoes are better than this one. I'm going to say give it more pickle bumps. Bumps. But not symmetrical. Alright, one more try. I want to keep this less than 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cute, but I'm not liking the nose. Or am I? No. Pickle Star doesn't have a nose. I think that one's pretty solid. So I'm going to heart that one. I'm going to heart that one too, and I'm going to save these because they are adorable. If you like this, go to Google Labs, type in Google Whisk. And if this video has been helpful to you and has taught you something today, or you just think I'm a dork and you don't mind watching me, then subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to get access to more AI tools, my favorite stuff, and join my newsletter, go to dinarecommends.com and I'm going to give you a spreadsheet of all my favorite AI tools and descriptions of each one. And I'm really excited that you're here and you're on this journey with me. And I want you to know that you are awesome and these AI tools can help make your more your life more efficient, more creative, and more fun. And I'll see you in the next video.